Okay, so hello everyone. This is Akshay here and let us start with the today's period this week. The name of the question is column name from a given column number. So given a positive integer, we have to return its corresponding column title as appear in the Excel sheet. So uh, I think we all know how an Excel sheet appear look like. So, okay, so it looks like like this here. So the first column known as A, then B, it goes till Z. Then after the Z, that is 27th column is named as AA. Then it continues with AB till AZ. Then again, when this series ends, then it has BA, BB, and then if you see that first was A to Z, then again started with A. Uh, the the first character remains constant, and then the second remains variable A B till Z. Then again, the third character uh, remains constant, and then A B A A to A till Z it goes on, right? Okay, so we have now a good understanding that of what uh, an Excel sheet look like when it when we talk in terms of column. In other words, column 1 is named as A, column 2 is B, column 27 as AA and so on. So for 28, we need to return AB. Okay, as I said, for 28, it's AB. So that means still A to Z, there are 26 columns here. And then definitely this is this will be 27, this will be 28. Correct. So that is why it's AB. Similarly, for 13, we need to return M. So that's the single character. So it's 13 there, right? How we can do that is, so let's just do replace all the values with its indexes so that we can see something so for a again i'm writing it as a 1 1 then for a b i'm writing it as 1 2 and for this i'm writing this as 1 and 26 let's say so for b a it would be 2 1 it would be 2 2 and then this one be 2 and 26 right okay so 26 means z right and 1 means a so if i like we know that here after every 26 characters, there's a repetition, right, of A, B, C, D till Z. So that means I can use some modular operator to find the exact character. So let's say for Z, which is which is marked as 26. If I do mod 26 modular 26, it will give me 0, right? And then I can clearly typecast it, let's say 0 plus A, right? But then it will return me as A, right? I will just typecast it. So that means... Uh, I needed at this 0, I needed 25. Then only a plus 25 will give me as 26 if you typecast, right? So that means before moving a modulo operator, we need one n minus minus. So that means it makes 25. Then again, modulo with 26. And now it will give me 25. And now I will plus a here, right? So that means when you are at a character, do 25 more ahead, right? And you'll, it will give you as the z. How it is done here, it actually uses inbuilt in code, it is uses the ASCII values, right? So for A, I think it's 65. So 65 plus 25, whatever it's the number, uh, 6, 2, 8, 90, 90. And 90 definitely belongs to Z. So we do not have to bother that, we can just write cap, typecast car, CHR. Okay, so that was the one point that we need to do N minus minus. So definitely for rest of the cases, for let us dry run for some more test cases. Let us do it for which one? Mm, let me take, take some examples. Let us do this for BB, right? So manually, let's see, let us just find out. So first row is 26, then another it would be 26 again. So 26 plus 26, 52. So definitely is answer on 54, right? How we can do that is that's up to 54. Uh, I'll do minus minus, so it becomes 53. I will do percent or say modulo 26. I will get what? Mm, 52 modulo 26, 52, 1. I'll get 1, right? So I will again typecast it with and with the addition of a so it will give me b correct my last character is b great now since we have already consumed our first 26 characters or let's say a modulo like hum 26 times kar chuke se, right so definitely hame ise n equals to n by 26 karna hoga to find the next subsequence character consecutive or subsequent or adjacent whatever you may say okay so n equals 10 by 26 would be nothing but 54 by 26 will give you 53 by 26 will give you 27 yep it will give me 27 then again i will do what so again what we will do so n by 26 it is it is the it is a division not the model operator right so definitely it will not be 27 <laughs> it would be 2 Right, 53 by 26 would be 2. And now we will do minus minus, so that will give me as 1. Why are we are doing minus minus here? Because Hamamisha, uh, we saw that z is uh, to at the 26 index, but I'm just saying, say model 26, we come at the zero base indexing. 
But then again, if we type cast it, a plus zero will get you at a again. Instead, we wanted z. So that is why we are always doing minus minus. So two becomes one. One percent twenty six will give you again one. One plus character a addition and that and we will type cast it as well. So it again b. So b is the answer. B and b is the answer, right? Please pause this video here now. Try to code this approach by yourself, and then we can resume ahead. So great. We are done with the code as well. So let me give you a very quick code walkthrough. So we have used String Builder. We have used String Builder because in Java, if you use an empty string and you keep on appending the characters, then it would be O of string length for the time complexity. So meanwhile, you will be doing. Let's say you have n characters in a string and an empty string. Uh, in an empty string, and you added n characters, and then again you add n plus oneth character, it will give you the time complexity of O of n. So that is why in the String Builder it does not for any appending a particular character, it it will give you O of one time complexity. So just to avoid the TLE for some cases. We are using String Builder. And then again, why n is greater than zero? We decide. Uh, we uh, have seen that we are doing. Why are we doing n minus minus? So that is to fix the zero base indexing to one base indexing, right? At last, we are just appending it the character a that is typecast with a plus the n modulo twenty six, and then finally reducing our character the number length by n equals to n by twenty six. And at last, since we are appending it, right? So that means we are making an answer in a reversed format. So that is why we have again reversed it. Using this reverse function, which will give you our the original answer, and then two string to convert our string builder into a string because the return type was string. Correct. Let us hit the submit button. Meanwhile, it is submitting. Let us discuss the time complexity. What is the time complexity? We are always decreasing our number with twenty six, right? So, if we do a for loop, we do for i equals to zero, and we do i equals to i plus two, right? So, instead of n, the time complexity begins log n, right? With base two, so here हम यह हम यह क्या कर रहे हैं? We are always decreasing the number by twenty six. Either you increase it or decrease it. Again, it's always the log n, and the base base would be decided by the number which you are decreasing or increasing. So here we are dividing it by twenty six in each and every iteration. So it would be log n base twenty six. Time complexity we are not using any space, so it would be O of one. Great, we have done this question. Let us see the C plus plus code. So that's the C plus plus code here, and let us just submit submit button for this code as well. Okay, so we have submitted the C plus plus code as well. And one thing I have received in my feedback that I need to pause my video when I code on my code editor. So yes, I think this part was not visible while I was coding it. So yeah, I will definitely take care from the next uh from the next videos. Right till then, keep learning, keep growing. Bye bye, and take care, guys.